our third ring flow again. We're going to start from this um, shoulder extension position where we're down on our knees. Now, if you need to, keep yourself on your knees, on your feet. If you can, take your weight in this position. We're then going to pull through and we're going to go into an uh, inverted hang. Again, squeezing your shoulder blades together, point your toes, squeeze your bum. From there, we're going to tuck down. Now we're going to come into a tuck lever position, pulling your hands down towards your hips, getting your hips down level with your shoulders. And from there, we're going to drop into either a tuck L sit or an L sit. Then we're going to come in and we're going to come all the way back round. Again, if you need to, put your toes down at this point. If you feel comfortable, take your weight and come all the way through to your knees. Okay? Then you are going to rest and then you are going to repeat. So we're going from the reverse skin the cat position with your knees on the floor. Um, we're going to pull through to an inverted hang with your toes pointed towards the ceiling. We're then going to drop through to a tuck lever and then to an L sit or a tuck L sit and then go all the way back through. Now, with this, if you feel too much pressure through your bicep, through your elbow, or through your wrist, just drop down to the knees when you're coming into the skin of the cat. So I'll demonstrate it one more time. We are here. We're gonna, if we can, take our weight. We're pulling ourselves through and coming up here. Hold for five seconds. Come down, tuck lever. Hold for five seconds. Come down, either tuck L sit or full L sit. Hold for five seconds. Come back in. Come all the way around. And again, if you can, hang down. If you feel too much pressure, just come down to your toes, come down to your knees, step up, come out of it. So that is ring flow number three.